Hi students, this is the intro video for week four. We're gonna go over and have a look at the D2L page. So the D2L page for our class, again, you click on content and scroll down to week four. And then up over here will come uh, the week four content folder, which is right here. And uh, this video will reside right here after I make it. So let's go inside the week four content. By the way, it's on formulas. So in week four, we'll be introduced to our first algebraic concepts. Uh, you'll work with equations and formulas. And you will work with formulas that deal specifically with uh, machine shop type things, such as thread formulas, taper formulas, speeds, feeds, and spur gears. And from the objectives, uh, learn what an equation is, learn what formulas and equations describe physical relationships, and then in the shop related uh, applications again, threads, tapers, speeds, feeds, and spur gears. The material is in section six. We will cover all of section six during this uh, fourth week of the class. Uh, your reading assignments are laid out as though we meet on Tuesday, Thursday, but actually you meet whenever you get at the work and can do it, although there are time limits to when you have to get it done. Um, we'll jump down to the, uh, to the lectures. There are five units in section seven, and here are in order the links to the YouTube videos for lectures on each of those uh, five units. We start out with equations and formulas in unit 26. And then we go ahead and look at threads, tapers in unit 28, speeds and feeds in 29. That has to do with uh, cutting material on the machine shop floor. And then finally, in unit 30, we're going to look at something called spur gears. Jump back up to this thing called useful link. This is a link to a website that uh, this is a, a vendor's website, but they've put it out here. They allow you to uh, specify uh, all the uh, important relevant information about um, threads on a bolt or a screw and click compute. They give you a default. If I click compute and go over here, it gives me all the relevant specs, uh, diameters and uh, major, minor and pitch diameter and something called overwires. It gives you the tolerances. Um, it gives you pitches, crest radius, uh, all kinds of different things that I won't go into now but it also gives you a picture of two views of a thread. One is a, a zoomed in, and then the other one is uh, more like the full, uh, full bolt with threads. And uh, things are marked on here as to what is what, as far as what the uh, specification of a bolt uh, gives you. There's more information on here than that. I will allow you to read that at your leisure. That's uh, material in addition to what's covered into the, in, the, uh, in the class. Oh, well, some of it's in addition to, goes over and beyond. Some of it is duplicate coverage. And then as usual, we have supplemental videos here. We have several of them. And that's because this material might be you know, tough on some of you. And you may want to look at uh, an alternate presentation of similar or the same material. And I really encourage you to look at some of these. The homework assignment, not so many problems this week, but the problems are growing harder in to do, so they're growing fewer in number. And again, week four assignment, and when it's uh, when you're due to have it in. The discussion topic, uh, this time we're gonna look at, from the world of electricity, we're gonna look at Ohm's law. Um, asking you to state what Ohm's law means in words and use Ohm's law to calculate, uh, make a, current calculation given a certain resistance and a certain certain voltage across the resistor and put your results in discussion folder four. So this one you're going to have to probably do a little research on Ohm's law. Ohm's law is again another formula, only this is a formula that relates voltage, current, and resistance. It, um, it won't take you all that much research uh, or doing a Google search to find a page that will give you a, a good basic understanding or, or presentation of Ohm's law. Your initial post is due on 
um, April 19th and your response to a classmate is due on the following Thursday on the 21st. At the end of four, uh, week four, we have a midterm exam. It will cover all of the material from the first four weeks, that is sections one through six. The midterm exam is shown here as though it's being uh, done in class time on April 21st. Actually, what will happen is after the end of class, uh, class time on Thursday or maybe earlier in the day Thursday, I will open up the midterm exam and I will leave it open for probably through the weekend following week four. And then I will start looking Monday morning. The, uh, the midterm exam, like all the quizzes, are one shot. Once you start it, you'll have a certain time limit. I believe the midterm is set to 75 minutes. You'll have a time limit during which you have to complete the exam. And once you've submitted, um, you do not have a second chance to go back and retake it. It's a one shot deal. You'll get a score come up as soon as you submit. And that score, again, you should treat it like it's preliminary and it's lower than your actual score is going to be. And that's because of the, uh, the automatic grader is not tolerant of a lot of things that, uh, that I'm tolerant of. So you won't, uh, don't pay attention to your grade too, too much until uh, you, you've given me a day or so to get in there and uh, go through and review it. And so that is the end of the content for week four. Happy hunting, and I will see you again next week.